Number 37, this figure over here depicts the motion of a particle moving along the x-axis with a constant acceleration. The figure's vertical scaling is set by x s equals to 6 meters. This means that this is 6 meters, this is 4 meters, this is 2 meters, this is minus 2 meters. What are the magnitude and the direction of the particle's acceleration? So since the acceleration is constant, there are three different equations that we can use. They are x equals to x0 plus v0t plus a t squared over 2. We can also use v equals to v0 plus a t and v squared equals to v0 squared plus 2 times a delta x. So those are the three equations that we can use when the acceleration is constant. However, in this problem over here, we will only use this equation over here, the first equation. So let's divide the movement into two different parts. The first part starts when t equals to 0 and ends when t equals to 1. And the second part starts at the same instant or when t equals to 0. However, it ends when t equals to 2. So let's write this equation over here for the blue part and the, the green part. So for the blue part, the final position is 0, right? So this position over here is 0. So 0 equals to x0, which is minus 2, plus the initial velocity that we don't know, its value. The, 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 this time over here, t1, which is equals to 1 second, plus the acceleration that we also don't know, times 1 squared over 2. And then we have that 0 equals to minus 2 plus v0 plus a over 2. So this is the first equation over here. The second equation is for the green part. The final position is 6. You see the final position over here is 6. The initial position is minus 2 as well. The initial velocity is the same. It is v0 since it starts at the same instant. So, however, the time that it from, from, from the beginning to the end of the movement is 2 seconds. So this is 2 plus a times 2 squared over 2. And this is equal to, let's move this to the left side of the equation, is 8 equals to 2 times v0 plus 2 times a. We can also divide everything by 2 and then we have 4 equals to v0 plus a. So those are the two equations that we have to solve this problem over here. And since we only, only don't know two different things, v0 and a, and we have two different equations, that's, we can find the solution. So we want the acceleration. So let's eliminate v0 from those equations. So I, I will take this equation over here and isolate v0. So v0 equals to 4 minus a. And I will replace this v0 over here by this value here. And then we have that 0 mi equals minus 2 plus 4 minus a plus a over 2. So we have that 0 equals to minus 2 plus 2 minus a over 2, which means that a equals to 4 meters per square second. So this is the acceleration. The magnitude of the acceleration is 4 meters per square second. Since, since we want the magnitude is just the, the positive value, but it is already positive. In the direction, it's in, it is in the positive direction since it is plus 4 meters per square second. And this is the answer of this exercise.